All right, uh, let's look at the homework 7.4, uh, problem number 8. All right, so we want to find uh, values of x and y, so that uh, partial with respect to x and the partial with respect to y are equal to 0. All right, so uh, let's do that. All right, so we need to take the partial derivative first. Uh, so partial with respect to x would be, right, so you have a 9x squared, right, and a minus 6y, and the partial of that is 0. So uh, we have that. And partial of f with respect to y would be, right, partial of that is 0. There you get the negative 6x. And then we have a uh, uh, plus 3y squared, right? So we set uh, both of these guys equal to 0, right? So this is equal to 0, right? So uh, let's try to uh, solve this uh, here. All right, I'm going to, let's see which one is easier to work with. Um, maybe I'll try to work with the uh, the bottom one first. So I'm going to, all right, so actually it doesn't really make any difference. Maybe I'll do the top one. All right, so uh, I'm going to, let's see, solve this equation for uh, y and then plug into the other one, all right? So we have, uh, let's see, I'm going to uh, add 6y. So you get the 9x squared is equal to 6y. All right. Then we can just uh, divide through by 6. So you're going to get the 9 over 6x squared is equal to y. All right. Then we can uh, simplify, so multiple 3, divide by 3, you get 3, divide by 3, you get 2. All right, so, so y is equal to uh, 3 halves x squared. All right, then we're going to just plug this into the, um, the other equation. So you have a negative 6x, right, and plus 3 times... All right, y squared. So we have to square this. So times, uh, let's see, not 3 squared would be 9 over 2 squared is 4. Then x squared squared would be x to the uh, fourth power. All right, so we have that. And let's see, then, uh, so this is equal to, still, this is equal to 0. All right, so I don't want to see a... Uh, um, uh, fraction here. I'm going to multiply uh, through by 4. So I'm going to multiply through by 4. You get uh, negative uh, 24x and plus 27x uh, to the fourth power uh, is equal to 0. All right. Then uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, let's say x is in common, so I'll factor x out, All right? And you have uh, negative 24, so I'm going to put the negative 24 from there. And then you have a 27x cubed, All right? So this is equal to 0, All right? And then, uh, let's see, we have, so we can solve this. Um, so first thing is uh, x is equal to 0, right? Then if you set uh, 27x cubed minus 24 equal to 0, so this is going to be, uh, I'm going to add 24. So you have a 27x cubed is equal to, uh, positive 24, right? Then divide through by 27. You get the x cubed is equal to 24 over 27. Then we can just uh, take the cube root of both sides. So x is equal to, and cube root of uh, 24, right? And then uh, cube root of 27 is actually 3, right? All right, cube root of 24 is what? The 24, uh, 2, so 1, 2, so you have another 2. 
and uh, six, you have another two, then you have three. So this is actually, uh, we can pull out the two, cube root of uh, three over three. All right, so we got that. So we have two x values we found, uh, x equals zero, and uh, x equals uh, two, uh, cube root of uh, three over three, right? So when x equals zero, uh, obviously y is going to be equal to zero as well, right? Because we can just put that in there, all right? Then uh, we're going to use the, uh, let's see, the other x value. So which one should we use? Uh, so y value, so we can plug this guy. So this is the x value, and I'm going to plug it in here. All right, so this is going to be um, y is equal to uh, 3 halves is already there. Then we have to square this guy. So you, you have uh, uh, 3 squared, All right? Then you have a 2 squared. And then you have, uh, let's see, um, so 3 to the, uh, so it's a 1 third power. And you square that, it's a, so two thirds power. All right, so what's this? Uh, so we can cancel two on the bottom and uh, two on top, and three on top and three on the bottom. All right, so it looks like uh, this is going to be, so there's a two here, two. All right, then you have, uh, let's see, three on the bottom. So you have a three to the two thirds power. So it's going to be one third left over on the bottom. The so two over cube root of three. All right, so it's going to be two over uh, cube root of uh, three. All right, so it's not pretty, but uh, let's uh, type type this guy in. All right, so a smaller x value would be uh, 0, so it's a 0 comma 0. And the other one uh, was, uh, let's see if I remember it, it's, uh, oops, sorry. All right, the other one was uh, 2, so you have a fraction, right? Then you have a 2 times, and uh, let's see, it's a function. So here, uh, cube root of uh, 3. Uh, over 3, right? So over 3. Actually, I can rewrite this guy as, uh, let's see, so it's a cube root on top, and you have uh, just 3 on the bottom. So I'm going to just write it as 3 to the 2 thirds power. Then I can just get rid of that, right? So get rid of uh, 2 thirds power, right? 2 thirds power. Let's see if I can do this. I right, get rid of that and uh, get rid of that. All right, two to uh, two over two thirds power, and then uh, we're gonna have uh, two over and three to the uh, one third power. All right, so I'm gonna just get rid of that and get rid of that. All right, so we got that. All right, so let's check the answer. Uh, submit for testing. All right, it came back and it looks like we got this one correctly. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.